Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for still continue watching my videos and supporting to my channel. And please click the notification bell so that you will be alerted when I post a new video. So this video is details on my teen reason not to pay for a Filipinas annulment. Let's get started. Number one. The annulment attorney will ask and want to know who is actually paying for the annulment. You will have to reveal your identity. The fact that you are communicating and interested in a married Filipina. He will file on record that you are the financer. If you want to remain incognito, the lawyer will want additional guarantees. His fees will be fully paid. Number two, you are in violation of family law. If you are slept with her during the process and can be jailed for adultery. If you get in trouble, you will be quickly learn how limited her appreciation and commitment to you really is. You will be surprised and how quickly she can change sides. Number three, if she has kids, not only will you be expected to fund the expensive annulment, but provide for welfare and well-being of kids in the interim. Many foreigners just divorced or separated before coming to the Philippines, and you don't want to go from the frying pan into the fire again. Number four, the husband might learn if your strong desire for his wife and suddenly become concerned about his family and file charge against you or even worse, take bodily harm actions against you. Number five, it could be a scam from the beginning and the husband is in on it. In order to avoid legal actions against you, he may file adultery charge against you unless you pay a lump sum specified amount of dollars. You will ask yourself, how in the hell did my kindness turn into a crime? And number six, you might secretly be videotape making love to her. And it appears on Facebook, thus selling your dog. Number seven, she might have severe long distance relationship in which to think they are funding the annulment and when it completed. There will be demand of her dreams and future. However, in reality, you are the part of a chain of fools. Number Eight, she might have you convinced that she had not seen him in years because he never support his kids. However, she allows him to come over and communicate with his kids. If that is happening more likely, he is still tapping that booty before departure. Remember, she wants the kids to be with a father and a family environment. He always has the upper hand. Number nine, annulment lawyers can bleed your bank account for years with processes, filing, and, and unnecessary activity, which does nothing to resolve or complete the annulment. You might hear stories of annulment completed in a month. It may happen, but it's rare. And there were mitigating circumstances involved that might not be your lack of the draw. Last but not the last, number 10. You might put your life, retirement, enjoyment, and future on hold with a woman that may no longer be interested in you if an annulment is successful. 
You might have aged significantly, an aging medical condition have occurred that she wants no part of. Once free, she will take the best offer available and might not be new. Especially if you have a medical condition that requires caregiving. Now, you might say, Sharon, you always looking at the extreme side of a situation. You never say the positive sign. However, if you are so much in love with someone's wife that you put your retirement and future in jeopardy and the outcome is not what you expected, you will regret putting yourself in such a non-win situation and, well, reminisce on the day. Sharon Napolepo advise you. Don't pay for a Filipinas annulment. If you like my channel and its content and want to buy me a coffee or donating to my channel, the links are in the video description. Thank you and God bless.